right, okay. So generally speaking, setup was good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On occasions, the hands got a little bit behind the goal. Yeah, a little bit round the back. I think that's just. Yeah. Oh, poor crikey! You now, but generally speaking, from sort of hips to shoulders, the angles we're creating are good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit round the back there, but I wouldn't try and start going to go too no. extreme. Just, I, just, yeah. I can't see the ball properly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I think, I think generally, for mm. me, posture, that kind of curvature there is more kind of a. <laughs> a normal thing yeah, in people's yeah. daily life. Yeah. The angles you're creating from hip to shoulder, though, are good relative to the shaft. Mm-hmm. So, again, a tall person, yeah. we look at that angle there, very important, okay? So, there's your takeaway now. Club going back nicely, okay? Got to about there, a bit lifty, and then you're going to complete the swing there with your hands on your arms, okay? This mm-hmm. one here now, same good kind of takeaway. And the club now, you see your left arm there relative to your shoulders is more this way as opposed to... Yeah. Steep up there. Yeah, yeah. So we're coming on a better angle, okay? Mm-hmm. Then as you start coming down, that club now coming oh, yeah. down quite really steep, steep yeah. very much sort of through almost towards your right neck there, right neck area. Whereas this one here now as we start coming down, yeah. that club now is working more under your right shoulder or more towards yeah. your right shoulder, okay? Yeah. And as we come down frame by frame now, we can sort of see here as we come into the sort of two frames later where the golf club is there, that club now is sort of pointing at the golf ball there. Whereas this one's more on the inside, yeah. so you can see the angle that club now is coming on here as opposed to there. So these hands have moved further over there. Probably not that much to see by the naked eye, but if we zoom in a bit there, mm-hmm. hopefully yeah. a little bit more now, you can see the gap there between your legs yeah. and your hands has increased, which means your arms have thrown over the top. Mm-hmm. So as you're making contact with that golf ball, your path now is going this way, which is going to weaken the contact or weaken the efficiency. Yeah? Yeah. Even if you strike it at the sweet spot perfectly, if the face is fairly square and your path follows that yellow line, your ball now is going to be more in that direction. Uh-huh. Weaker, cuttier, yeah, yeah. losing yardage. Also, the fact that your club is going on that yellow line to the left there means you're steeper, as we said. Hitting the ground now is going to be something you're going to do quite heavy. And if you hit the ground coming down that steep, mm. when you fat it, it's a fish full of mud and the ball goes yeah. halfway at best if we're lucky, okay? Yeah. From this one here now with the club working more kind of this way, you start getting your draw back. Mm-hmm. Yes, there'll be a few occasions where you clip the ground behind the ball because you're now changing the angle that club is coming down from. It's getting used to that new angle and relearning where the ball is. But if you hit the ground behind the ball, it's a shallower heavy shot, so you won't lose as much yardage. And the efficiency of everything else is going to be good, so you might lose 10, 15 yards. Yeah. Whereas this one coming across the ball oh. and the face being open and spinning across it and hitting the ground behind the ball, mm-hmm. All these things are adding up over time, so you're losing a lot more yardage for every single shot. Yeah. Yeah. And then you keep like, trying the ball harder or further or whatever it may be, and it gets weaker and weaker and weaker, higher and higher and higher. And if you're not careful, then you try and really give it a smack and you thump the club in the ground and it goes like 20 yards. Yeah. Okay. So hip-wise, on the way through, tick, very good. Takeaway-wise, on the way back, okay, very good. Club working back, hands working back nicely there, wet under the shoulders, okay. Just get that right hip pocket, as you can see, that's where your, where your pocket is there. Yeah. Get him. Get yeah, keep that him going. Keep really him really going. Don't stop him, okay? Yeah. Keep him moving, okay? Yeah. Don't stop that right hip. Okay, if the right hip stops on the way back, you can see your right hip here now. Okay, now watch your hip there. Yeah. Really yeah. moving for there, whereas this one does keep going. There's a lot more movement in that right hip there from where your hands sort of hip height to the top of the back swing. Whereas this one, it's like mm, a little bit of movement, but not really. And it's, yeah, it's just you're completing. So your synchronization with your arms and your body are out. So when you come back down, you've got to try and resync your golf swing, which, yeah, yeah. yeah good luck doing that. Yeah. This time of year now, when you're cold, you haven't warmed yeah. up, you've got layers on. It's tough. something to work on, isn't it? Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 I think from your point of view, if it's just almost reassurance that takeaway's good, yeah. hip movement through the ball is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's just getting that hip to work better on the way back, which then allows your arms to work down on a more sort of shallower yeah. angle of the golf ball, yeah. coming more down from kind of this position as opposed to yeah. that position. Okay. Okay. It's only moved a few degrees, but it seems for you a lot more under. Yeah. It's moved that far. It feels properly yeah. somewhere yeah. like yeah. this, but it, feels, feels it will take like a, a bit of yeah. practice and a bit of getting used to. So okay. Where are we going? Uh, half an hour, 25 altogether.